Hey everybody. You know how sometimes you just get an itch? It seems like nothing will scratch that itch and you just don't feel right. Well, I know what you can do to help yourself. Go get a long slide 45. This is a big help. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel. Hey everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Quick video today on a new piece of gear I've got in the shop. It's that right there. The AMP machine or annealing made perfect. I replaced the old bench source torch type annealer, um, which I actually kind of really liked. Um, but I like this one better and I think you will too after you look at it. Come on in here and check it out. Okay, so when you're setting up to run your annealer, you can see I've got a some cases done here already and I've got a sacrificial case you can see this thing it destroys a case and this case actually I can just easily bend it by hand I mean it burns it up right so um, what you got are these they they sell these little holders right and these things are for they're for shell holders so I have a Redding shell holder here that's a red I just kind of decided to use all Redding shell holders with this machine and I want that so that that rim thickness right there Hopefully is going to be exactly the same between all of them. So I wouldn't mix up brands of shell holders There's no wrong shell holder just after you pick a brand just go with it and and don't get any others, right? so What I'll do here is I'll sacrifice another case to show you guys what's up How this thing figures out how to how to anneal brass absolutely perfectly every time so it's booting up and I've got my sacrificial case here. Start and it's gonna go through its starting little thing. Now I this is the run setting and the run setting is for just annealing a bunch of brass, right? Like I already, when I push the analyze over to there, it's gonna ask me for the pilot number. Nope, Mac, because I wanna go, yeah, to the next one. Pilot 60 and setting a is the lowest setting, right? It'll have a bunch of different settings So I can push 60 B or 60 C. I wanted to do 60 a just to see what happens with this, right? I'm I'm gonna kneel a test batch of brass and go fire a bunch of groups with it. So I'm gonna push start 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 and then it's gonna say analyze start. I put a piece of brass in there Push the start button, light turns red while it's cooking. Then it's gonna turn off. I'm gonna pull that piece of brass out. And as you can see, it is absolutely cooked. It's, whoa, he just dropped it and I'm not even gonna pick it up, it's so hot. But it gave me a code, right? Code 129, that's the same code it gave me last time, surprisingly, not surprisingly. So now I've got a good fresh piece of brass. I wanna use that code. And now it's ready. I just plop the case in there, push run. Guess what? I'm gonna put another case, push run. This case is done and it's absolutely perfect. And this thing, believe it or not, the bench source was fast, but this thing is actually faster. I, I, um, so I'm gonna finish annealing the rest of this brass and then I'm gonna load and fire some test groups with it and see if this is gonna help shrink our groups. So, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys out at the range.